World's Most Powerful Women The world is full of powerful leaders that change a lot in the perspective of the world. A powerful person leaves a huge mark on other people to the point that they become a role model in the eyes of others. So what if these powerful people were women? Many think that women are incapable of managing things like men do, but these women on the list definitely prove these words wrong. Let's check the top 10 most powerful women on the planet. Number 10. Gail Boudreau You've probably heard of Gail Boudreau if you follow business. She is currently the CEO of one of the biggest healthcare companies in existence, Anthem. Currently, it is the world's second largest organization run by a female CEO. Boudreau has spent a lot of time focused on the world of business over the years. Nearly all the focus, however, has been put on dealing in one capacity or another with the healthcare industry. She worked in leadership positions with businesses, including Aetna and United Healthcare, just to name a few, before getting on board with Anthem. It takes a lot to land on the Forbes Most Powerful Women list, but that's exactly where she found herself this year. She has a name clearly which precedes her. Luckily, it's for all the right reasons. Number 9. Abigail Jones Abigail Jones is chairman and CEO of FMR LLC, Fidelity Investments parent company, a leading global financial services corporation with $3.3 trillion in assets under management and $8.3 trillion in cumulative total value of consumer assets. Johnson has brought in a series of reforms since taking the reins of Fidelity that have pushed the organization away from conventional revenue sources and into new territories. In the meantime, she increased profits exponentially for the first time in her career. She increased Fidelity's profits to more than $5 billion in her first year as CEO alone. Johnson ranks as one of the world's richest women. The Fidelity CEO has a net worth estimated to be in the range of $15 billion according to Forbes. Much of her wealth is derived from Fidelity investment shares. Latest figures say that she owns 24.5% of the shares. In 2016, her stupendous wealth led Forbes to call her the richest person in the 50 largest cities of America. In Massachusetts, she also enjoys the current title of the richest person. Number 8. Anna Patricia Botton Anna Patricia Botton is a Spanish banker who was named on 10 September 2014 as the executive chairwoman of the Satander Group. She is her family's fourth generation to hold this position. In December 2010, she was named the CEO of Santander UK prior to becoming executive chairwoman. As she was in the 99th place in 2005 and is now considered the 9th most powerful woman in the world, she was steadily risen through the ranks of the most powerful women in the world. While her family business is Santander, this is not the only company for which she has worked throughout her career. She originally spent 8 years working for JP Morgan and then worked at the Spanish bank Benesto. She has also been a director of the Coca-Cola company since 2013. Number 7. Nancy Pelosi Nancy Pelosi is the House Speaker. She's one of the most powerful women in the United States administration. She is one of the most influential women in the nation's history, and when she stands up for what she believes in, she does not mince words. She's not an easily intimidated woman, obviously, nor does she change her mind merely because someone else disagrees with her. In the real estate business, it's possible that those same levels have also served her well over the years. There is no question that she did something right or that. To begin with, she would not have so many assets listed under her name. Real estate can also be a lucrative venture for those people who have the capacity to remain in the game and the emotional toughness to cope with whatever happens. That's something she proved time and again already. Number 6. Mary Barra In 1980, Mary T. Barra, General Motors incumbent CEO, began her career at GM. She was already a college student at Kettering University back then. Ms. Barra has risen to the top of the corporate ladder at General Motors since its humble beginnings. Mary T. Barra, though, is more than just a power player for companies. She has lived a fascinating life that is worth learning more about, boundary-breaking, female empowering. Ms. Barra not only brings in huge stacks, she is also the first US woman to be named the CEO of a car manufacturing corporation. 
particularly in a predominantly male-dominated industry, a woman's hard work and perseverance will lead to her at the helm in a 21st century society. This should be encouraging for women everywhere. Number 5. Melinda Gates World-renowned philanthropist Melinda Gates has built an empire since beginning her career at Microsoft in 1987. She quickly moved up in the tech company's ranks, becoming general manager of information products before marrying Microsoft's co-founder Bill Gates in 1994. Together, they founded the more than $50 billion Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which has helped improve health and education in over 130 countries. If that wasn't enough, in 2012, Melinda also donated $560 million to improve female contraceptives in impoverished communities. Melinda's unicorn innovations have inspired many and made her a powerhouse figure around the globe, from her altruism to her social entrepreneurship to her ability to develop technology worldwide. Number 4. Ursula von der Leyen After being elected to the Buttstank for Lower Saxony in state elections, her career started in 2003, a position Ursula would hold until she was appointed president of the European Commission in 2019. She was no stranger to politics, although she entered politics later in life. A fully qualified physician, a mother of seven, an accomplished dressage rider, and one of Germany's most experienced women politicians. In Brussels, her most important strength would be her ability to work closely together and achieve viable compromises, the skill she has acquired throughout the diverse power structures of the Federal Republic of Germany. As president of the European Commission, when sifting through the many wishes of the member states and distilling them into a shape that will be palatable to the heads of state and government gathered in the European Council, Ursula von der Leyen will have to grow an acute knowledge. Number 3. Kamala Harris Former California Senator Kamala Harris made history as the first woman and the first woman of color to serve as vice president. As an attorney, Kamala has worked tirelessly to fulfill her goals while pushing for the causes she believes in. Harris worked as a prosecutor for the city of San Francisco after graduating with a double major bachelor degree and a Juris Doctorate degree. She was later chosen to be California's Attorney General and then to the Senate of the United States. She published her first book, Smart on Crime, A Career Prosecutor's Plan to Make Us Safer which dealt with the issues of crime and truancy prevention, as well as treating children for post-traumatic stress disorder. Number 2. Christine Lagarde Christine Lagarde is a lawyer and a politician who was named in July 2011 as the International Monetary Fund's Managing Director and is the first woman ever to hold this position. She had held numerous ministerial posts for the French government previous to this. This included the offices of Minister for Trade, Minister for Agriculture and Fisheries and Minister for Economic Affairs, Finance and Employment. She received a record four master's degree. The first three were collected from the Notre La Défense University of Paris West. These were in English, labor law and social law topics. Number 1. Angela Merkel Angela Merkel is the head of the Christian Democratic Union of the Center-Right and is the politician who serves as Chancellor of Germany. She is also the European Union de facto leader. These are positions that mean that she is now considered the world's most influential individual and is often referred to as the free world's leader. Merkel was born on July 17, 1954 in Hamburg, West Germany, and has a doctorate in quantum chemistry. Following the 2005 federal election, she became the Chancellor of Germany. This made her, at the head of the Grand Coalition, the first female chancellor. In 2007, she was elected president of the European Council. In her private life, she married Ulrich Merkel, a physics student in 1977 when she was only 23. She retained her surname even though they divorced in 1982. In 1981, she met Joachim Sauer, her second husband, and they married in 1998.